in this tutorial I'm going to install Samba in Ubuntu and then I'm going to create a shared folder with a file and then I'll open it up and connect to it from a Windows machine. So to do this I'm going to open a terminal. Okay, I'm going to do a sudo app-get update to update my repositories first. Okay. All right. I'll clear that. Now that they're updated, I'm going to do a sudo apt-get install Samba. Okay, and it's going to go out and it's going to pick up the packages that I need to run Samba. And you can see down here at the bottom it says SMBD start. And it gives me the process for um, the Samba uh, daemon. And then it says NMBD start. And this is for like a, uh, some type of uh, NetBIOS type daemon. And that gives me a process number. So that started. So that's it. I've got Samba running now. Now for many people running Ubuntu, um, the uh, Samba server fails on the NMBD startup. And so I'll show you how you can fix that also. So don't worry. If you didn't see um, Samba and then NMBD startup, don't worry. I'll show you how you can fix that too. Okay. So um, now that we have that started, I'm going to clear this. And now that you have Samba started, you still have to configure a shared folder and all that. So first thing you want to do is edit the configuration file. And we can do that, and then I'll show you how to fix the NMBD. Okay, so I'm going to do a sudo gedit forward slash etsy forward slash samba forward slash smb dot conf and then space and an ampersand signed to background the process. Let's see if I have that spelled correctly. I do. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to want to open up this Samba configuration file and you're going to want to make sure that in the global settings that let's say work group here notice it says equals work group in all caps well this is going to be the name of your work group in Windows and since the default work group in Windows is work group all capitals then that works fine then down here in let's see here authentication make sure that security equals user and that looks good alright and then down here all the way at the bottom we're gonna add our shared folder you can see here that I actually already have it um, configured so you could just copy what I have here so um, in a bracket you can have open bracket the word share close bracket and then comment equals Ubuntu file server share you can put whatever comment you want here you know my Samba server share right then the path, this is going to be the path to your shared folder. And so in this case, the shared folder is going to be the name share, and it's going to be in another directory called Samba, and that's going to be in the directory SRV. And I read online that this is a recommended way of doing this, that this is a recommended uh, place, the SRV directory is a recommended place to put uh, shares. Okay, browsable, you'll set it equal to yes, and that will make sure that um, Windows users can browse it. Um, guest OK equals yes. That's supposed to allow you to um, log in without a password, although in my experience uh, you need a password regardless. Uh, read only equals no. That'll allow people to read and write to your share. So if you don't want people to write to your shared folder, you might want to check that, change that to yes and see if that works for you. And then this is a mask for um, all of the files that you'll be creating in the share uh, and directories that you're creating. By default, if you create one, it should set it to 755 property. So this is what you're going to want to add at the bottom of your um, configuration file, your SMB configuration file. Okay. So once you have that done, you can close that out, right? And then let's see here. You have to make sure that you now have that directory. So to make that directory, I'm going to do a sudo, okay, mkdir, 
okay so sudo make directory right dash p will make any of the directories if they're missing so this is going to be in the SRV folder and then if it, if you don't have one this will get made anyway Samba uh, directory and in there you're going to have another directory called share right so you're going to make those directories all right and so uh, that's done all right so sudo make directory p serve samba share okay right, let's go see if we have it there so i'll do a change directory into the srv and then i'll do an ls and you'll see there's a folder called samba and if i change directory into that or i just say um, ls um, samba you can see there's a folder called share so i have the two folders that I need. All right, so that looks pretty good. The other thing you're going to want to do is once you've made the directories that you need, you're also going to want to change the ownership. So we'll do that right now. I'll clear this out. Okay. I'm going to do a sudo chone, which is going to change the ownership to nobody. So the owner will be nobody. Right now the owner's root. So sudo chone nobody, and then for the group, it'll be no group. And that'll change the group from root. So chone nobody dot no group, and then space, and then what you want to change the ownership for. So uh, forward slash root SRV, Samba, and I'm going to change the ownership for the folder called share. All right, and so that's good. We'll say CD, change directory into SRV Samba we'll go to that directory and then I'll do a list long and you can see here that this directory share right is belongs to nobody no group now what we want to do is I want to show you what to do if you need to change the NMBD file so if you need to do that what you'll do is you'll do a sudo gedit okay and you're going to go into the etc folder into the init folder and you're going to want to change the nmbd.conf file at the end I'm going to put a space and then an ampersand so I can background this process all right and then what you want to do is if if the um, netbios name server basically I guess that's what this is uh, this process is uh, NetBIOS name server NMBD. If if it's not starting up for you, what you can do is you can just comment out these two lines right here. So you can just put in a pound sign here and a pound sign here, and it'll still work. So you see, I could save that right now. Okay, save. Right, and now what I can do is I can do a sudo restart. SMBD okay and I'm gonna do a sudo restart NMBD okay and that's restarted and so now I have share now the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we need to have a file that we're gonna to try to see on our Windows machine right now we don't have anything in that share right so if I go you know list long or list SRV, right, Samba, shared folder, and I look inside there. Well, actually, I put a text. I put <laughs> previously I put a file in there, right? So you see, it, there's whatsapp.txt is in there. So you might need to put a file in there. So what you want to do is say sudo touch forward slash SRV forward slash Samba forward slash share forward slash test dot txt and if you do that it will create a test file into your um, folder and just to double check that it's there do an ls right right and you can see there now I have a folder called test dot txt right and what I might want to do is check the permissions on that on that file all right and you can see here that the file there is a read write read read 
for that file. So we'll see if that shows up in, um, in the share from Windows. Okay, now if you want to check and access your share, what you want to do is go to Start, and I'm going to go to Network, and right away if I just go to Start and Network, I can see um, my connected uh, pieces here. Or you could go to your Network and Sharing Center, right? And you go to Network and Sharing Center, and you go to View Computers and Devices, and you can see if there's any shared computers out there and you'll see here that there's Dan my virtual box right and when you double click on this now when you get here you might have to turn on sharing you know so as you can see here I have sharing and discovery on so if you don't have sharing and discovery on this is a Vista machine you will have to turn that on for this to work okay so once you have sharing and discovery on then you'll be able to see um, any shared folders that are out there, you know, computers that have shares. So there is my Samba share, and when I double click on it, I had to put in my username and password. And my username in this case was Dan at the name of your computer. So Dan at my computer name. And then I put in my password, and I was able to get in. So um, once again, you're going to have to put in your password and it's going to be Dan, your name, your username, then the at symbol, and then the name of your computer. And then you'll put in your password also. Uh, once you're in, you can see here if I have Samba shared printers or I have shared folders, I can go and there's my folder. Notice the folders named share because I named it share in Linux. If I go in there, you'll see there's my two files. I can open up test, right, and I could probably add some text to it. So I'll open it here. I've got a uh, Komodo edit editor and I can say hello and file save and I'm not sure I don't have permission to save this, right? So that's a permission that was set in Linux. I don't have permission to save that. But let's look at this other file. This one, right? Hello and I'll say hello again right and hit file save and I do have permission to save that so now back in Linux I can go open up that file and and see if it worked